Hi everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you just joined me, my name's Jason Carroll. And this is about my life dealing with cancer. So pull a chair up and we'll have a chat. It's been 43 days since I was told I had cancer. And really this daily vlog is how I deal with it deal with it daily. Um, I try to live a normal life as best I can. Uh, I've only had two chemo treatments. The second one has been a little bit different to the first, which you know, if you're a cancer patient or you know someone who's been through it, you'll understand. I come out here today to Varuna Dam just to chill and relax with the dog. And I come out and they're burning off north of us. And there's, I think, fighter jets flying around, so it's not that peaceful and not that nice. <laughs> but it gets me out of the house and gets me away. So I'm, you know, it's good. It's what I need. I need to get out and about. Places that don't really put me at risk. Which I think this is it. I don't know if you can hear that, but geez, they're loud when you come out here for some peace and quiet. <laughs> so. I wish they'd go away. So today's, there we go, you get a bit more of a view. So today's vlog is more a bit about a few little things that have been affecting me lately. I suppose you call them side effects from chemo. Um, I still haven't lost hair, which is good. You're probably thinking, yeah, right, I know, but I shave it. That way I don't, it won't fall out. I never had much hair anyway. But a few th little things that have been happening that I've noticed in the last oh, few days, really. And I, th I think it happened when I had my first chemo treatment. I'm not, I can't really remember. One of them is taste buds. Taste buds have gone a little bit funny, if you know what I mean. They're not perfect. Also, I'm a little bit fatigued in like my legs. My legs are tired, which I find odd, really. So because my legs are tired, I'm feeling a little bit fatigued. Not much, when normally I'd go all day. I'm finding I'm having a little rest in between, you know, maybe a couple of times a day. Also, I'm not sleeping the best. I seem to be awake a little bit more, but that could be because of the steroids I'm on. I've got to take steroids five days, including chemo day, and then I stop until chemo again. So today's my last day, so hopefully I'll sleep a bit better. I say I get fatigued and then can't sleep, so it's a bit of a, you know, sort of contradicting myself in a way. But the thing is I find I need, all I need to do is sit down and relax and rest. I look real yellow, don't I? It's the smoke, it's not me, don't worry. Um, I just need to rest for a bit and then I'm right to go again. So it's not like tired fatigue where I just want to sleep or anything like that. It's more a... Um, just need a break. Need a Kit Kat. <laughs> How nice is it here if the smoke was gone? <laughs> Apart from that, they're the only real little things I've noticed. So I'm hoping that's all it will be, but I'm waiting for the list that you get given to arrive and go, hello, you're having chemo. Yeah, my doc seems to think because I'm young, fit and healthy, I didn't think 46 was young, but it is. Young, fit and healthy. I should be fine throughout this treatment. The reason he's bumped me up to, what, every two weeks to have chemo instead of three. So in a way, I feel like one of the lucky ones that um, oh, a few honky nuts that doesn't get affected 
that badly. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but I fingers crossed it doesn't. So yeah, not every cancer patient gets what you see on the TV or the news. Some are lucky, some aren't, don't get me wrong. Some people do get it. I, at times I don't feel like a cancer patient, but I am, I know I am. So, yeah, I'm, it's hard. Some days I don't show any signs or anything. Other days I show heaps, but I don't show you guys, which I probably should do more of. But it gets hard, it does videoing, editing and all that daily life. This is my 42nd day editing and videoing, or you might as well say vlogging, daily. So, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's been a challenge, but it's been good. It's given me something to do while I've been going through this and sort of keep my mind occupied and keep me busy instead of sitting around thinking the worst. might not look like I'm suffering or going through anything there are moments I'm not going to reveal everything because it's yeah it's a mental game I've got to get it out of my head and be positive as my mum just said she's glad I'm starting to have side effects because it shows chemo's doing its job I'm sure it was doing its job before but the side effects come along but yeah it's good so yeah well, I'm going to pack the dog up, pack everything up, head home. Thanks for the little listen and enjoy, enjoying your time here with me, I hope, at Maroona Dam. If you get the chance, come down here. It's not far from uh, Perth. It's a nice little spot. Normally a lot busier, though, on the weekends. Ski boats and all that kind of stuff, but still worth the look. All right. Catch us.